Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'm going to show you how to have a moving camera and have static text in that moving camera in 3D space. So as you can see, the camera pans from the left to the right, and you can see the text hovering over my monitors, and it looks like it's actually there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're in After Effects. The first thing you want to do is have your clip down here, as always, and then you're going to want to track the camera on it. There's two ways probably more than two ways you can do this, but two ways that are easy that I know is right click and then you can have track camera or you can come over here to the right and find your tracker pane click track camera. It's going to take a minute depending on how long the clip is where you're trying to track the camera we will come back in a minute when this is all done. And the camera has finished tracking what you should see are these little points all over the screen for some reason you clicked off you don't see those points anymore click back on the layer, come up here to the top left, 3D camera tracker, you can click on it and it will bring up those points. For some reason you don't have this, it shows the project, you can press F3 and it will show you the effects of whatever layer that you're working on. So then what we want to do is get one of these points, right click, let's click create text and camera, it's going to bring up some text, click on that layer, control T or click this T up here, click on the text. Control A to highlight all of it. I want it to say Spotify. And then kind of click off of it. Press W or click up here. Get your rotational key. Click back on it. Kind of align it with whatever it is that you want it to say or be with. So I want it to hover over my uh, monitor there. And then I need my icon for Spotify. So I'm going to drag that in. It's going to take a second. It's going to appear. There it is. So we want this to be 3D too, and that's pretty easy. You just come over here, and this cube means 3D. So we want to make it 3D. And then it puts in our uh, XYZ axis so you know it's in 3D. And then press V, which is your selector. I'm going to drag it over here and kind of uh, hold shift and so it keeps its aspect ratio so it gets weird if you don't hold shift so I'm gonna shrink it down put it over here press W get your rotational key again kind of rotate it so it's kind of uh, along the same angle as the text now I want my text to be the same color as this so click on the text control T or click up there and then control A, highlight all that, and then come over here to the right, pick your color. I want to make it Spotify green, so match it. And this feels a little bit off. So then we want it to have a linear white, but first you can see that as the camera pans, these maintain in the same position, which looks like it's actually hovering over the monitor there. It looks pretty cool. The next effect is to make this text kind of fly in from left to right. And that's easy. You come up here to effects. It's called a linear wipe. You just type in, you can just type it in. I already started typing it. It's linear wipe. You want to take it and just drop it onto your text. It's going to disappear depending on your settings. Open up the text here. Click effects. So you can see linear wipe. 100% means it's not showing anything, and as you go forward, it starts to show. But that, that's happening a little bit too quickly, so I'm going to expand this keyframe out. It's still happening a little bit too quickly. Expand it out a little bit more, and then maybe add some feather to it, which kind of makes it appear from thin air. Like that. And then I'm going to highlight both of them, press F9, which is like easy ease, kind of flies in quicker and then slows down as it starts to uh, end. I'm going to expand it out a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll come up here, click the Spotify logo. We want it to kind of pop in. So click, click that Spotify layer, press S for scale. Go to where you want it to pop in. I want it to pop in in about one second into it. Click scale. Hold shift, go back to the beginning. If you, by holding shift and, and moving this thing, it snaps it to the end of layers. 
and then let's let's bring it down to zero so it doesn't show anything. Now when you press it, it pops in, Spotify shows up. So that's pretty much it for how to track text in 3D space. Other than that, you just um, rinse, repeat this process for whatever it is that you want to track. Change your text, change your color, and then you have it. And you can do this with almost any moving camera unless it's too sporadic. And make sure when you pick a point, you want to pick a point that stays around for a while. So some of these, not all these points exist forever. Some of them will pop in and disappear. And if you put text on one of those points that pops in and disappears, kind of like this pink one, when you put text on it, the text will be tracked to it. And then when it disappears, it will just pop into the middle of the screen. And that looks terrible. Otherwise, if you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure to leave a like and comment. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.